Alrighty, what's up guys? We are down to two champions girls. I cannot wait. Oh. So now we're down to hobgoblins and mummies. Uh, I think we're gonna do hobgoblins. We're gonna set up hobgoblins first. Uh, if you guys are wondering, we already had the Abaran Specter one. So uh, this means that we're gonna, yeah. So because we already had a Baron Spectres, that means we're technically at 11, we have two left to get. And I forget which tab I have this in. Give me just a second, I'll make sure I don't lobby. And we're Lady 4 on the newbie. Where are the Ushabtis? Oh, they are right here. Uh, Yep. So now we're gonna basically just go back to the pyramid. Let me show you guys how I set it up, anyways. Uh, but if you uh, if you're new to the player on Slayer Dungeon, uh, just understand that um, it's a super useful place uh, once you have it like properly set up and stuff. Uh, so if you have a monster, it's gonna ask you if you want to replace that monster. I'm always gonna click yes. Uh, keep in mind that I think as soon as you have 50 souls, you unlock the Ouija board, and the Ouija board allows you to move souls around, so you can set up idealistically up to three places. Because the thing is with this dungeon or whatever, you can like your friends can come AFK and you can go AFK in your friends' dungeons too. But the biggest problem with that is if your friend logs out, uh, the dungeon crumbles. Like uh, you get kicked out after five minutes if your friends off. So, yeah. That's why I decided just to have my own. And then once I'm done here, I'm gonna have it, uh, as you can see, they're kept series on the other side of the screen. I'm gonna have it where my newbie can come AFK the Ascend Rebels for me. And yeah, so basically, now we turn it back into dungeon mode. And because we turn it back into dungeon mode, let's see if they'll start wandering around, right? So here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna activate one of these. I'm gonna put an aggression flask in. And what it does is, so if I switch the nozzle on, right? Right, I switch the nozzle on. So now everything's everything's uh, attracted to me, like is aggressive. Uh, so now I'm going to drop an item, just so I can open a loot interface. And now they're permanently going to try and fight me. And yeah, I do this. Uh, I activate a new one every 30 minutes ish or whatever, uh, 36 minutes or whatever. But yeah, it gives me it gives me almost 15 minutes of AFK before I just have to like right click on the screen because you see I have the lobby timer or whatever. It'll ding every 15 minutes to make sure that you know I'm still like paying attention and stuff. So essentially, this is how you do uh, champion scroll farming for a lot of mobs. There are some mobs that you can just cannon, uh, but keep in mind if other players are killing those mobs at the same time or whatever, and you're just trying to AFK, they could cheat you out on kills and. You could honestly waste some time. Okay, wait a second. If these drop graves, if these drop graves, okay. All right, give me a sec. I'm gonna grab my note paper because I feel like I left a lot of grapes on the ground during the goblin farming. Um, let's see. What's fun with the aggro pod right? Is that I'm never really gone for too long, so I'm never really wasting much time. So I'm gonna go back in. And what's nice about magic note paper, especially on an item that's fucking 11,000 GP, is you are just making uh, an omega shit ton of money. All right, so like always, drop the item, pick up the item, and yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna be AFKing for a while. So yeah, you guys will see an update when there's an update to give. 